Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Telly Tuesday. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, and it feels good to be back. Uh, so for the last week, I was in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I got to see uh, the Philadelphia Flyers play. Uh, they played the Boston Bruins. It was a cool game. And uh, I just want everybody to know, I love all teams. <laughs> you know, I love all teams. You know, so it's not just Flyers. I love them all. And, and even the ones that... Uh, you know, our rivals and stuff, it makes the game that much better. So it was cool to see. Um, I even went to school in Boston. It was cool to see both, both teams play and uh, I had a great time. And then we spent time in Doylestown with my uh, parents and my brother and sister and my grandmother, my Aww. Uncle Bob, who asked about everybody here, <laughs> which is really cool. He also played some great songs. I, it was a song I hadn't heard in a while uh, called Cruel To Be Kind. Um, and I love that song. It's a great song. Um, so I got to cover that soon. Um, but uh, yeah, we do have a really cool guitar today. I'm glad to be back. Just got to get back into the swing of things. We'll get some new stuff going. But well, I'm glad you're back. I'm God. rusty. <laughs> what was that little wiggle? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got in me right now. All right, that plane ride was pretty crazy. Turbulence is never fun, is it, people? No. No. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> anyway, let's just go back to 1971 with a Rosewood, a Fender Rosewood Telecaster. Ooh. And this thing is amazing. So the last one we had came from Norm's Warehouse. Um, and I believe it was right around that same year because it had, you know, the split, the, kind of the pancake together body. Um, so it's weight relieved. It's not as heavy as some of those uh, earlier ones were. Um, this guitar uh, came out around 68 for George Harrison um, to uh, first give it a swing. And then 69, everybody, uh, they kind of hit production for everyone. Um, but a really, really co cool guitar, um, like I said, from 69 to 72. So this is kind of right in the middle. Um, and then they reissued them from, like, I think it was in the 80s to about 94 um, with uh, Fender in Japan. And then now they have the 2007 Custom Shop. We've had one of those, which is great. But nothing's like the original. And I personally like this model because it's a little lighter. They can get really heavy, like Les Paulch uh, status. But uh, uh, three-chambered hollow body, uh, two single-coil pickups. You got that black guard, um, dot inlays, one volume, one tone. And it's a 25.5-inch scale. Um, but this one's kind of got like a medium C neck. And it stays consistent all the way to the heel. Um, there's a couple of things going on here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's not like a scratch. It's just like a just a little mark, but you don't even really feel it. But it almost looks like a bubble. But it's not popping up, but it, it just kind of has a circle form right there. And then there's another one right around here. But I'm telling you, you can barely, f you can't even like feel anything. Really? Yeah, try it. You feel oh, that? No, not really. Right? Yeah, weird. You would think, like, right when you see it, that you're going to feel like a, I don't know, some, a little elevation or something, but nothing. Um, back has some typical belt buckle scratches. Um, but, you know, we just had our good friend Jonathan Stout on the show. He does all the art stops. Such a great guy and great player. Um, and he was saying the same thing, which was refreshing to hear, is, you know, just because it has his marks... Sometimes actually could be a good sign because it's it's a lot of times the clean ones that somebody put under their bed, um, but this one somebody obviously was vibing with it and it does have that mojo. Original frets, um, just a really cool guitar and it has a rich sound because of that rosewood. Um, I, I don't know, it kind of reminds me a little bit more like closer to a Jazzmaster sound because it's warm, um, but still it, definitely its own thing. It's still a telly, but it's got this rosewood thing going on and. Uh, it's mellow, so let's take it out front and see what we can do. Great to be back. Let's go. Woo! Lemo mellow. Yeah. <laughs> Lemo's very mellow. <laughs> There's Mazza. Woo! All right, we're out front with the 1971 Fender Telecaster in Rosewood. Really cool guitar. Um, it's crazy that we already have one again. Because um, that last one was amazing, and this one is no exception. We're going through a Fender Deluxe Reverb, uh, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get.
metal suit we get.
Fender Telecaster, all rosewood, really, really cool guitar. Always has a, a unique sound. Um, so check out all these guitars at normandreguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Emma. See you soon. Bye. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Woo. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs>